Fame came to Hemingway early. While still in his 20s, he wrote his first novel, The Sun Also Rises. The people he wrote about had survived the First World War. They were unconcerned with money or materialism. This was, in Gutrud Stein's words, the lost generation, and Hemingway became their bard. Despite his popularity, legend and legacy cannot begin until the man ends. Ketchum, Idaho, July 2nd, 1961. Ernest Hemingway is found dead of a shotgun wound in the head. His wife Mary killed himself accidentally while cleaning his weapon. Although Hemingway was a longtime gun enthusiast and receiving his first shotgun when he was just 10 years old, there was almost no chance he would make such a mistake. It is now believed that he had committed suicide, and his widow made a half-hearted attempt to give the old gun cleaning accident story to protect his name. The body of the bearded, barrel-chested writer, clad in a robe and pajamas, was found by his wife in the foyer of their modern concrete house. A double-barreled, 12-gauge shotgun manufactured by Abercrombie and Fitch lay beside him with one chamber discharged. When Hemingway was on an assignment covering the Lausanne Peace Conference in 1922, his first wife, Hadley, came to visit him via train and had packed with her all of his manuscripts, including the carbons, which unfortunately ended up being stolen. This material was never recovered, and as far as the content of the manuscripts, it is unknown what they contained. It is assumed that they were mostly short stories and poems that Hemingway was working on at the time. Ernest Hemingway had once slapped fellow writer Max Eastman upside the head with a book. Hemingway was known for being a very masculine man in the public eye. However, another writer, Max Eastman, had written about him. Come out from behind that false hair on your chest, Ernest. We all know you. As if he was overcompensating or something. When Hemingway saw that, he began to get sore. In what he hoped was a playful manner, he said he bared his chest to Mr. Eastman and asked him to look at the hair and say whether or not it was false. He persuaded Mr. Eastman to bare his chest and commented on its comparatively hairless condition. Hemingway said, When I looked at him and I thought about the book, I got sore. I tried to get him to read to me in person some of the stuff he had written about me. He wouldn't do it, so that's when I socked him with the book.